Hey Gaffney School, welcome to Beanbag Bocce. Now, this game is gonna be similar to Beanbag Bullseye where we were underhand tossing beanbags into a target trying to score points. But when we played that activity, we were trying to get the beanbag to land inside of a circle or maybe on, uh, on a piece of paper to score points. But this activity, we're gonna be tossing to try to get the beanbag close to a target. So if I have that red cone down there, we are gonna be underhand tossing to see who can get the beanbag closer to the target. So for this, <clears throat> I would like you to play against somebody at your house, um, whether it's a sibling or somebody who's taking care of you, because um, that way the activity will be more fun. If you absolutely have nobody to play with, you can play this activity with your right hand and your left hand, and maybe do something like, my left hand is Billy and my right hand is Jimmy, and you do a right-handed toss with Jimmy and then a left-handed toss with Billy, and, and keep track of points and see who wins the game, uh, your right hand or your left hand. That would obviously be way less fun than playing against somebody in your house, but if you don't have someone and you absolutely can't find anyone to play, that's what you can do uh, to kind of have some fun with the activity, all right? So it's pretty simple to do. Again, it's kind of like uh, beanbag bullseye, but we're trying to get close to a target. So I'm gonna show you how it works now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw for both teams. So if I was going first with the red beanbag, I would do a step underhand toss, just like I do for beanbag bullseye. Okay, so that's kind of far away from the cone and then your partner or whoever you're playing against would now do their throw, okay? Now, as you can see, the blue one got pretty close, but I'll walk the video down here. So, as you can see, the blue bean bag is closer than the red bean bag. So, the blue would get a point for that round, okay? And you can bring your bean bag back to the throwing area and play again. But what I would like you to do for this is switch up where you put your target and throw from a different distance. Okay, so now I'm just for the sake of argument gonna move the target a little bit for round two. Let's say I put it here, okay? And it's hard because I have to stay on camera, but I moved it a little bit and now I'm gonna move to this side so the angle and the distance is different. So every round you can change where the target is and you can change where you and your opponent are standing, okay? And the further away you are, the more fun the activity is gonna be. Just make sure that you're being safe about that in your house. Okay, so we'll do another, another round on camera. So here we go. So blue would go first since they won the last round. So that's pretty close for blue. And then I'll do the red toss. Ooh, that's gonna be, that's really close. So let's take the camera down here and check it out. Kind of hard because I can't see what I'm looking at with the phone. Okay, so, wow, this is really close. Both, both bean bags are touching the cone. So I would say that red won this round because more of the bean bag is touching the cone than the blue bean bag. So it would be one to one. You would, again, change where you're putting the target and change where you're standing your body, where you throw uh, for round three. So that is Beanbag Bocce. This game is a lot of fun. Um, really quick, one more option you can do if you don't have beanbags at home, but again, you can use socks like you did for uh, beanbag bullseye but you could also use a ball especially if you have carpet at home and what you would do if you have a small indoor ball is you would just roll it and whoever gets the closest same thing wins that point so you can roll the ball this is going to be hard on a fast floor like a gym floor 
or like a wood floor at home, it's better to do on carpet or even outside in the grass would be best um, to play bocce. So here's what an example of rolling a ball would look like, okay? And you're trying to get it really close. Ooh, it bonked, bonked the cone. Okay, so the ball is gonna roll really far if you use it on a floor. Um, so that's a different way you can play with your partners with the ball. That would be way more challenging on a hard floor. Again, I, I would play on a carpet. Okay, so that's Beanbag Bachi. Hope you guys love it.